Hello guys, it's me Carl Santos, aka Epic Carl95, and I'm gonna do a 2021 NASCAR Cup Series preview between Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott. So, both Larson and Elliott have raced in the Chili Bowl already, and and for Elliott, he only made it to the F main, which is fine, and he's my second favorite driver, and basically, he wanted to do some dirt racing, so. He can fall into the steps of footsteps of Kyle Larson because he's gonna dominate Bristol Dirt. So I mean, this season's gonna be havoc because you got a dirt race, you got a bunch of road courses, and they like eliminated most of the one and a half and two mile cookie cutter tracks. So. Not much of those racetracks, and race fans are going to be happy with the balance of the track leaves and all that. And what I meant by they, I meant Steve Phelps and Steve O'Donnell. Okay. They listen to the drivers, they listen to the fans, they listen to the car owners, the mechanics, the crew chiefs, and everything. This is the right move to. Make sure that it's not competing with IndyCar as far as hybrid schedules. Like half of them are road courses and half of them are cookie cutters. In which I believe IndyCar is doing, but this NASCAR is similar. So, so alongside what I'm gonna do as as far as the title of my fun day will be today is how will Carl Larson and Chase Elliott do in the Cup Series this season? So let's start off with the Cup Champion of 2020, Chase Elliott. I mean, Chase Elliott. I mean, he. You know, he's a master of road courses already. So, but the thing is. He won three out of the five cup races at the right place at the right time. I mean, he it was October, November. You mean it. I, I kind of believe he was going to be the championship favorite once Phoenix came around. And he beat Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, and Denny Hamlin for the title. So, so his season wasn't a fluke. And I looked at RacingReference.com to see that his stat line was the best of his career. And I got to give him the odds to win a second straight cup championship already. Because you know how much Denny and Kevin Hart Vic, Let me say his last name. Denny Hamlin and then Kevin Harvick are going to compete for the championship again. So, yeah, they're the master of saying, hey, we don't need no qualifying. We need, don't need no practice. And all dirty drivers that had a shot to win a race, man, Chase Elliott, he just used it with a snap of a finger and actually won the title and stole it away from the three that he competed with. Hamlin, Keselowski, and Logano. So. so, I hope there's a lot much on Elliott's plate this season because he did it while Kyle Larson was not in the Cup Series because of his racial slur on iRacing. So, I'll shift gears to Kyle Larson. So, Kyle Larson, when he got suspended in, from NASCAR, he made his transition to dirt for temporarily only a year because he had nothing to lose. He went to as many dirt tracks across America as he can and won 46 of them. So I'm really happy that he won all those races so he can build up that sponsorship funding for the Cup. Well, do you think he can operate his dirt racing schedule and actually 
move to cup like that? I don't think so. I don't think Rick Hendrick would do that, so. So, what can I say? Look at Kyle Larson's new uniform, Nation's Guard. And I know people said it many, many times on Facebook. It's Rick Hendrick's sponsor, but the thing is, it's partnered with the Hendrick Automotive Group. So, not, not much to say there just because it's Rick Hendrick's company, but he's pri probably said privately owned companies, you know. Since this is their first time on the car, you know, and it's basically like HendrickCars.com, Hendrick Car GMAC, like you've seen in the past for Rick Hendrick. So, all I can say is, hope for the best for Kyle Larson. So, so what are Kyle Larson's cup expectations compared to Chase Elliott? Well, for Larson, he may be behind the eight ball as far as make it in a championship four, which is a long shot, but round of eight, he can, along with Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, and William Byron in the fray for Hendrick Motorsports. So, like I've told you about Chase Elliott, he's the one to watch. Larson, he may now win the championship this year, and I'm being realistic about it because he hasn't gone through the no practice and no qualifying scenario that everybody had to go through, so what can I say? That's just my dad in the background, so don't worry about that. So that's my preview for Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson expectations for how well they'll do in the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series. So, I make K.I. Happy Car 95. This was a loyal video for you, Hendrick Motorsports fans and Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson fans alike. So, hope I can do a little bit more of Chase Elliott and not be biased towards Kyle Larson. So, all I can say is peace out and have a happy 2021 NASCAR Cup season, and goodbye.